Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Time, you stop said Berlanga need to drop the gloves and pick up a trade. And and that's a perfect and that's a perfect perfect segue. segue. Yeah, Thank perfect you. Segue. So I mean at the same night, you know, Eddie had one of his accidental good matchroom cards. You know, because it was a pretty good matchroom card with Edgar Berlanga and Jason Quigley in the main event though. But before I go into that fucking main event though, gotta talk about, you know, a, a huge betting win that I think P and I both got. Although P would have gotten a larger one had a certain fight ended in the second round. I didn't, I didn't I didn't get any winnings off of that and I'm gonna go You didn't you didn't bet the KO straight up? No. I'm not I oh, put what? Dude, you, you should have bet the fucking KO I put, I put it in a parlay. Nigga you still should have bet the fucking KO. I mean, like that was an easy it. one. Yeah and of course the fight I'm talking about of course is uh Giuseppe, Joe, Kusumano, and, uh, and Adam Kalnaki. Because I said it on... Um, yeah, because the round, the round didn't matter. Like, yeah, you knew, round, like, Cal, Cal was going to get stopped. Like. Yeah, like, no, like at, at the time of the podcast, at the time of the preview we did, the, the, the bet wasn't on there, but I, I stressed... Like, yo, yeah. you're betting. The Pat said it several game. times. Like, and I think we all picked uh, Cal, Cal Naki to lose. How can you not bet on the yeah, fucking. Yeah. Like, I, I stressed it. And then later in the chat, though, in, in, in our chat, I posted it was like plus 950. I said, yo, but that's, that's like, like yo, easy this, money. That's, that's easy money. I said, like, that's a lick right there. Nigga, if I'd have knew that, nigga, I'd have sent you some fucking money to put on that motherfucker. Yeah, Jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, Helene has ruined this guy and derailed because you can tell that, that well, Ariola started it. No, Ariola ruined it. Started it. Yeah. But, but you can tell the trajectory was they were gonna they were gonna feed him the Wilder. I had a feeling, that, you know, if he got past those Helene's tests, they probably would have given him. Yeah, Wilder. yeah, they were. We, we were talking God, about that. And thank God they didn't, because Wilder might have been him worse than Spilska. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he would have fucked. See, see, it, here's the thing about Kanaki. I mean, Kanak, I mean, even before that too. Like, if you ever listen to some of our past stuff, like I've always said, Kanaki should need to be in shape because I always stress like, yo, Kanaki should be like two thirty two. 220, 235 yeah. at the most, because it's like, yo, you can't be that fat and taking the shots like that. Like, in, in this, his line. punch resistance going. Like, y'all talk about J Rock punch resistance. Oh, Cal Naki punch resistance is fucking gone. Yeah, Cal Naki's funny. Yeah, at first, at yeah, first, it was going life and death with Charles Martin, which he did win. You know, because both of the guys. But, oh my, yo, if that Charles Martin fight is twelve rounds, Martin wins that. Probably, yeah. And then. Dude, it was 10 rounds, and Martin didn't start fighting back or putting his foot in his ass until, like, the sixth round or something. And he sweeps the second half of the fight. It's just one of those, oh, my God, I wish we had a rematch or too, this yeah, fight would have been 12. Too, yeah, it was a yeah like, Martin, that's, that's one of Martin's best performances. Right, well, and then, you know, then right. he follows it up with the Areola fight in which Kalnaki, over 12 rounds, absorbs 300 power shots from Areola. Even a washed Areola should never land 300 punches. In a twelve round fight on anybody, like, and then right. Kanaki won that yeah. fight. But, that broke the record, right? For like the most, he yeah, it broke yeah, the record it for heavyweights yeah. like thrown and landed in a twelve round fight. Yeah. I just wish we had a classic fight out of it because I remember Tua and the President was way yeah. more classic. That was, like, one, that was one of the better last free Fox fights. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was great for a free fight, but for like, fight, yeah. <laughs> but the problem was too. Kanaki should have cashed out and gotten that shot against Joshua when Big Baby popped dirty for all those fucking rows. Oh, and shit. Was, was he in the mix for that fight? Was he, he yeah, was, he, he was. was he was one of the. It, but he turned it down. Same thing, like Ortiz turned it down too. Like he he, he turned down that fight. So it's like you do that and you go fight fucking Hellenius, who, who's washed too. But Hellenius can punch through anything, and Hellenius in two fights like breaks shit. Like ruined them. He, he ruined them. He ruined them basically. Yeah. yeah. And then the Kaneki, like he because he was on that Garcia um, Benavides card, undercard, and he was getting touched up by that Arab cat or Turkish cat. Oh, yeah, yeah the, and, the random, the random dude, yeah, not random. Yeah, dude. and the fun thing is too is like he was Duramison was touching him up so much, but he couldn't, t he, but he couldn't put his foot in the gas pump to get him out of there. But he was just giving him a steady beating. So it was just like, yo, if, Kan if Kanaki can't even hand, like handle a dude like that, then I was like, yeah, Kusamano, who's a big C level heavyweight, but he's yeah. a big puncher, will probably find his chin, and that's what he did. I mean, he almost, he, he almost got him out. He almost got him out there and won. In that first know? round, he dropped. He got saved by the bell. That was Zach Moore. Yeah, he got saved by the bell. Yeah, he got saved by the bell. Yeah, like, yeah, he was, old, he was done. Yeah, he, got, then, he, got, I, I, he got a big fan base, but like he got he, yeah, he the got the post fan base. But then I, I will I will give credit 
Kanaki did try to fight back. He fought back hard, but he, but, he was, but he was just taking too much punishment. Yeah, he was competitive the whole fight. As but much as he could. Remember, imagine could, how good he would have been if he was 20 pounds lighter. They were waving that towel. fucking head. <laughs> before, before the round, they were waving that, that towel. That too. The rest didn't see that shit. The yeah, yeah the you gotta throw the motherfucker. It's not a pom pom, goddammit. Don't wave yeah, that. Dude. Niggas take his Petey Pablo up in here, nigga. Like, no, <laughs> throw that. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that helicopter. Like, dude, throw this motherfucker. It's like, but it was one of those, he's waving it. Then he's like, oh, hold on. This nigga came in. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, oh shit. Like, um, oh, wait, 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 I, 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 fuck that. that. What, yeah. That's what, that's what killed my damn bet. Cause I had a twenty-five dollar uh, bet on Ka on Kanaki getting knocked out in the seventh round, and when he heard him, they were trying to stop the fight. They were trying to stop the fight. <laughs> well, you see, you see, but honestly, that that was karma on your end, cause your ass should have bet the fucking KO. You be trying to get all light skin and shit with these goddamn. Well, <laughs> I'ma pick round seven. That's cool sometimes, but there's sometimes at, at plus nine fifty or whatever the fuck Pat said. It was you could nine fifty, yeah. You gonna put twenty five on that and 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 eight, nigga? Was it a parlay? Be it was a parlay, probably, huh? It was part of a parlay. Yeah, he's well, no, because I I put in a parlay. Um, a par hold up. Can can you can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah, yeah nigga. Why you keep saying parlay like that? Like parlay. So, what it happened was I put a five leg parlay. I put parlay. In, um. Ioka for the money line that hit. Mm -hmm. I put in um, uh, Kalanaki to get knocked out. Uh, Kusamano for the knockout. That was the second leg. I put in um, the third leg was um, oh Lubin for the knockout. Got that. I put in the fourth leg was Berlanga to go to decision, and he got it. The only thing that fucked me over was I put in Adamas to get the KO within the first four rounds. So when he had that, when he almost got him out of there in the fourth, I was like, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, Damn. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was about to win 25K <laughs> on that far lane. It's close. It's yeah, and, close. And, and, I would have won 17K. Yeah, and, and that's why Damn. I was yeah, that's why I didn't even try to even do a part. I was like, yo, I saw I saw a lick. I was like, yeah, no, I got to put some money on this shit. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, were yeah. greedy, nigga. You was greedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I got too um, greedy. Shout out to yeah. Beth, Beth in the comments. Did Kyle Wanaka retire? He should this time. I know he's been mulling it, but hopefully this time. See, you know. it, it, there's, there's two things, too, because they said that he signed a deal. I mean, he signed a deal with with Eddie. But I mean, it's not. I know. I'm sure it's not just for one fight. But then Adam was like, "Yo, you know, if he looks bad in this fight, which he did, but he was competitive, then he should probably retire." I mean, he should retire because I mean, I don't see how Commission can look at these fights that he's getting rocked and him like, "Yo, like, we will got offer you a license." Like, nah, bro. Like, and he's not giving his best. Like, dude, like, you either start employing some fucking defense in your fights. And and take training seriously and drop fucking twenty pounds. Yeah, twenty more pounds at least. Twenty more, yeah, yeah. If if, if you can't do one or the other, I mean, you really need to do both. Yeah, but if yeah. you can't do one or the other, then like, yeah, yeah, because you're only just hurting yourself, literally. I, I was thinking, so since Kuzumano won, I was thinking, okay, maybe Eddie will give him a payday and feed him to like one of his younger guys. But who would win between him? I think, um, who the guy that fight? I think Joshua Franklin. I mean, Kusumano is a sea level heavyweight. He's he's part. I mean, Kusumano. I mean, dude, he's getting not. Yeah, like King P's right. Dude, getting not. I mean, this is thing like it depends on who you feed him to. Jermaine Franklin's not gonna probably knock him out. He's not. He don't got power like that. Jermaine, no, Jermaine Franklin will put enough punches together. It ain't always about the one punch. Jermaine Franklin. You think he'd be cute? That pause. be able to accumulate on him. You know what I mean? Be able to. The cumulative dude. Kusumano can't be any. Any A or B level heavyweight. He's 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 not. He doesn't have that type of. Kusumano, talent. like, dude, he lose like a good fight. Yeah, he's exactly Bruno. Franklin beats the fuck out of him. It's, it's, it's a good fight. Hey, and Kusa, he got, Franklin beats the fuck out of both those guys. Actually, it'd be it'd be, it'd be a good fight for, for a, it'd be a good call, man. You know what I'm saying on, on something. Sure. Nah, let my let my nigga Johnny Rice get a Kusumano fight. Get a Ooh. get another knockout. 
Yeah. You know, and then and then, and then get him a bigger fight. I mean, um, yeah, because yeah, because I mean, Kus- I mean, Kusumo deserves a big fight now because I'm saying, I mean, that was a good victory, and Kalnaki pretty much is. If he doesn't retire, he's gonna be talking funny, or he's gonna be like Galata, you know, having all these Kus- issues where Kus- he's like, Kusumano and Warley. Um, the, the guy pilot brought up. You know, my boy Warley will take care of him. Warley will probably, Warley will probably knock out Kusumo. Warley will take Fabio, care of him. Fabio, Fabio. But that that'd be a good fight though. It'd be a good fight. No, he, he give him trouble. He give Warley some trouble for sure. But I think I think Warley. Because at least he moves his head. I think he just respected Cal Naki too much. Yeah, well, Kalaki was rocking that shit though. You know what I'm saying? Kalaki dude got some decent pop. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but this was dude he was rocking dude, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? more so because he was letting them like, dude. Some people like they owe some caveman shit when it comes to boxing. Like, yo, this was, and this was a caveman fight, nigga. And, and thank you, like, it. yo, like, he yo, wasn't supposed to let Kalaki hit him all those times. He was supposed to step around, keep his hands up, move. But it comes back into the le- levels game. Kalaki's. Like a B fighter that's past it and that's that's trending downward. Kuzmano is a C level, so one's fighting uphill, one's fighting downhill. Yo, know, LB, you know this fight reminded me. Uh, this is I know you gotta appreciate this. Reminded me of those two Vinny Madalone and Brian Mento fights. You remember? You remember? Thank those you. Fights? Yeah, 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 yeah. Those was yeah. Remember them because they were just two white boys that had no type of skill, just throwing bombs at each other for like seven and ten rounds, nigga. Yeah, so, yeah, P- pretty much. Like yeah. this is our, yeah, this is the the new era of that shit. Like, yeah, like it, not it, like when like Sheikah and Pemberton fight where there's more skills and it's just. Yeah, yeah, that that fight it's was faster. Yeah. Nah, this motherfuckers are just throwing hands like that's it. Yeah, yeah, and and, and, that, and low key too. If this if boxer wasn't a low year, that would actually probably be like a top three fight of the year. Because, but I mean, it, it, it I mean it might be a low level fight of the year because it did have ebb and flow. It had a knockout. Had a yeah, yeah. If knockout. somebody wants to put that as a fight of the year candidate, like top ten, you know, lower lower ten. Yeah, I got I mean, no problem with that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was. We haven't had it, twenty fight of the years though. Like we had some good fights, but I think the Neri fight is the only real fight. And there was another, I think, a Golden Boy fight that was real gr- good. But I, mean, I guess no, I mean, we haven't had a fight of the years from like the big, the famous niggas yet. Like, no, no, we actually no. Except Better Be is probably the most famous nigga that actually had the fight of the year. Yeah, him and Yard were probably the most popular. Um, Neri is like up there but not as known but yeah not as known yes yeah. so we, we need like, Crawford Spence to be a fucking fighter of the year like we, we need to see a, a we need to see the top level names that's one thing boxing need to get back into like yeah and, and that's one thing that, 20, that, that that 2019 still has over this year because 2019 the big names were having fight of the years like yes you know? like yo it's like like I'm tired of niggas giving us great matches in the matchups it's like the niggas inside the matchups don't realize it's a great matchup <laughs> no, no, that's kind of like I felt what Mayor and um, um Baumgartner did, like you know, easily, yeah, easily. Like, they, they knew it was a great fight up until it was a up until they was fighting, and it was like <laughs> yeah, easily. Oh shit! And it's like there's no excuse for this performance. Like I'm just being honest, nigga. Yeah, no. Oh, and, and fuck, but, um, and Mannix kept fucking up her name that whole goddamn um interview at the end. Like, jeez. Yeah, no, but like, yeah, Kanaki needs to retire, and Kus- Kuzmano will probably get another shot at Matchroom, um, probably maybe later after he heals yeah. up. But yeah, but yeah, the, but uh, honestly, that, that 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 actually set the tone for the main event too, with uh, Edgar yeah, Belanga yeah. and Jason Quigley. Now, Jason, I-, I will say this though, Jason Quigley actually for the one time actually impressed me because he actually was actually was up for the fight. You know what I'm saying, like. He wasn't yeah. struggling like you know how he usually does. Like it's the best he, was, he looked, actually. Like yeah, like I mean, Berlanga for the most part. I don't know what I think. Berlanga was trying to prove that he can box with them, and that was and this was like, yo, go like, you know, like run through him. Something's like, you know, wrong like, with Berlanga. I, I'm beginning to think he gets his ass kicked in sparring. Like he's getting a sparring partner mentality. Like yeah, I'm you, saying, you get more aggression from fucking Michael Grant than this nigga. Because before, like, how you how you go your first fight, sixteen first round KOs, but then you find someone like quickly who's new, who's who's been taken out before, and you decide just to like you know box with them. I mean, it was at least it was enough action, so it wasn't boring. But like, yo, like this is Jason Quickly, like go after this nigga, yeah. man. Like don't wait to the fucking final round to try to put him away. And Berlanga looked like he was in the best shape I've seen Berlanga in in like the last maybe three years. Like he looked like he. 
Like he looked more slim. Like he was actually like I don't know. He looked chubby or like looser in his other fights. Like this fight, he actually looked like he trained. Like he looked more muscular, more slim, toned down. So I kind of expected him to kind of put more uh, effort and right. I'm like, how you look in better shape, but you're fighting in worse shape? Like that, I right. just get it. Yeah, like, and, and he, and he loved quickly because the deck. I mean, quickly, you know. I mean, his boxing. I mean, quickly is probably at his his level. Uh, his boxing level is probably the same as his, maybe even a little bit higher. Because you know, there were some mi- middle rounds where Quigley was actually boxing the shit out of Berlanga. Like even yeah, some of the- he was like, rocking them yeah. too. Yeah, so it's like you know, like what are we, like what are we doing here, Berlanga? Like you you you're and and you know the Rican contingent like they felt out that fucking Hulu theater shit. Like this shit was shit was packed. Like you know, I ain't see so many niggas damn floating around some mid in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the most Reggie session ever. Yeah, yeah, dice, yo, yeah, word. Berlanga is so average. Like yeah, that's yeah. all I could just take away. Like I don't know how he got them sixteen first round KOs. Like, like, yeah, and we probably, watched it. They were probably against garbage men, and, and uh, you know, but he's still like, like the level of competition he's fighting. Ain't really improved like that. Like, no, he didn't. Like, like oh my god, like. And motherfuckers to say he's gonna be the Puerto Rican Jeff Lacey. Get the fuck out of here! Like, nah. See, that's the thing too, because it, it's like it, it, it was just terrible that it took him to the twelfth round. So it's like, you know what? All right, well, fuck it. Let me try to get rid of him. I mean, he had. I mean, quickly was out of there. Like, quickly was ready to go, and he couldn't finish quickly. And he dropped the earlier. So it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah so it's like, yeah. I mean, the thing is, Brenda's average. I mean, I'm saying he's super trash. He he he's at, like the, yeah. like Dyson. He's average. He's decent. But boxer. for he's for good. the promotion he gets and the attention he gets, if someone said he's super trash and they put that in that context, I wouldn't argue. But well, 168 to be objective, he's just average. Low key, 168 is like a top five yeah, division. Right. In terms, you know, super middleweight's a, a pretty deep division, bro. I mean. Yeah, Bruno. He's the Puerto, he's the Puerto Rican Macmadov. Now I wouldn't go that far. Macmadov is a scary motherfucker that actually gets rid of some niggas. Like you know, Macmadov. Yeah, is, yeah. Is, facts. He fights, he fights. He fights on the comment for uh, Anderson too. We're, we're not gonna get. To, we know this part. I didn't go. Oh, we're not segueing into that just yet. <laughs> like this nigga pilot just be like. He be rushing to shit like no, I just mentioned it. I just mentioned it. You, you got the most time out of all of us, nigga. You, you can still enjoy your night, like <laughs> like all of us here. We up here like it's late and shit, like yeah. And that's it. Yeah, the fight was even until twelve. Bro, gets yeah, cause, yeah. He gets frustrated easy because when someone boxes him up just a little bit, you know, he, he doesn't really make any real adjustments. Like you know, he just he just continues to go on until he actually. Hurt Quigley somebody. could have won if he was more offensive. He seems shell shocked a little bit. I mean, I think when the guy dropped him, uh, you know, a few fights ago, I feel like he's a little shell shocked now. It seems like he don't want to because he could have he could have stopped Quigley. The, the left hook was landing. If he was a little more aggressive, he, he would have. I feel like they both could have stopped each other. He, like, he dropped Quigley yeah, like four yeah. times, right? Like four times. It was like one eighteen, one oh six scorecard and shit. Yeah. Honestly, I was I was hoping Quigley at least drop him at least once. You know, I mean, and he's fight. Because he Quigley was yeah. more confident in his offense because. He was landing on Berlanga, but it's like he was boxing a little too much. Like there was times where I felt like Quigley could have said, "I, right, I boxed him up. I boxed enough. Let me kind of take it to him a little bit." Like the whole transitioning from boxing to fighting, like I don't know. We used to see it at a higher level before. Like, yeah, you just yeah, that boxing, and then at the drop of a dime, motherfucker. Yeah, that's now, right. right. Exactly. He had a 16 first round KO streak, and then he became like a struggle urban slick back foot box type shit. You know what I'm saying? Urban, like, ain't nothing urban or slick I'm about what like he's struggle. Like, like he, you know, he's because he's fundamentally decent, but he's you know, he he's turned into damn um cautious fist. Cautious. Yeah, <laughs> like he's like he's pecking at dudes, and you supposed to be a power puncher. Like nah, man. It, 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 it's it's I mean, I, I I want to share Berlinga some more, but like I say, but if we if we drop someone officially four times in the fight. I can't really shit on him like that. Like, you know, I mean, his performance, yeah, he should have done more. Yeah, but just- I, I can still shit on him. Dude look average, man. Like, it's the rounds. Like, bro, like, how he, how the fight still close and comp- like, dude, all you just showed is your Puerto Rican kid chocolate. You're- <laughs> Damn, Quillen, call him Quillen. Quillen's better than Berlanga, yeah, but it's just, you're in, you're in that frame of fighting, like, 
I mean, you're I, I mean, I mean, I mean on, two of, on two of the cards, I think Berlinger reached 116 with four knockdowns. And, you know, it's, yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> four knockdowns and you only could get 116? Like, I mean, I mean, it's not as bad as Quillen. Quillen scores six knockdowns, but reaches one fifteen. That was horrible. Like, it, was like, it, was, it was like a one eighteen one oh six score, but I swear I heard a one eighteen one oh six on that. Day. Yeah, the one eighteen. I mean, that, I mean, that's still horrible, but yeah. like, ah, god damn, that's horrible. Like, that's one of the worst horribles I've heard. Like, I don't care, yeah. nigga. Yeah, but for the yeah. attention he gets and and he he got him with the and Eddie Eddie Hearn got him with the old duck duck goose uh, contract. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, I mean, be Canelo. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, no Canelo until at least twenty twenty five. So it's like he never yeah. deserved it in the first place. Like that's the boxing gods. Like all all the karma. Like everybody is starting to get they come up in. It's like there's a wave of it. Like you, you see, yeah, you know, Katie Taylor was on borrowed time. She was gonna get an L and, and got her L. Canelo borrowed time got his L. And now he's about to go through a gauntlet of L's or, or, or hard, tough fights where Canelo might retire in twenty by 2026, yo. Yeah, you know, and then with Berlinga, it's like, I mean, now he's calling out either Munguia or Triple G. And those are fights he probably should not take now, but, you know, God forbid if they offer them the right amount of money, you know. He ain't so beat the he, Berlinga, man. This nigga Berlinga, dude, run that fucking Twitter poll, yo. Mm-hmm. Like that's what I'm waiting for. I was just we about to done. do that, which I actually we not had done. Like I actually had a conversation about this today, um, and it was simple. Who does Edgar Berlanga have the best chance against? Uh, John Ryder, Shane Mosley Jr., Jaime Munguia, or Diego Pacheco? We got 61 votes so far, and 70 percent said Shane Mosley Jr. 13 percent said John Ryder, 11 percent said Munguia, and 5 percent said Pacheco. Disrespectful to Shane Mosley Jr. and y'all niggas must have not seen his last several fights, and, and, and we critique Mosley hard, but Ber- he hasn't looked as bad as Mer- Berlanga has in in since the KO Street ended. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, I, I don't think I mean, he beats anyone. So I don't think so either. But Ryder, I voted for Ryder. I think he has the best chance of beating Ryder. But I think he still loses to Ryder. But Ryder would no maul, way he beat him. Hmm? Ryder would maul the hell out of him. I don't think he beats him at all. Yeah. I mean, but see, I don't think like I don't know how people vote in Shane Mosley. Like Shane Mosley Jr. is like the youngest, most athletically, like, and like the fight. Like nah, like Pacheco too. Like I I voted for for Mungia. I voted and for I think Ryder. Cause Mungia, like Berlanga ain't beating no fucking Mungia. You serious? I don't think he's beating him either. But I'm saying I think that's his best chance. It's basically because he'll be in the line of fire, and his best chance is to maybe hope he can clip him. That's it. Because he couldn't clip quickly in the line of fire. Like <laughs> Mungia is look, Mungia is too mean for a guy like Berlanga who still seems like he's trying to figure it out. Like the Mungia. Is trying to figure it out career wise, but in the ring, he's not trying to figure shit out. Berlanga, he's trying to figure shit out career wise, in the ring wise. He don't know what the fuck he's trying to but do. The thing, is, the thing is that like Mungia would take it to him. Oh no, and I definitely think Mungia would. If he him. takes, dude, if Mungia takes it to Berlanga for one minute, the fight is going to last one minute. <laughs> right, right. Like, I just don't see this motherfucker. Well, like the, the, the best chance he has is to hope to clip him in the line of fire. That's it. He, that's his best chance against everybody now, and it's like he doesn't but fight like a gonna, guy to clip people. But he's not going to get those opportunities against those other guys because Mosley's too athletic, and he'll like he's he's not going to get those chances against Mosley. Mosley, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I voted for Mosley, but I feel like Ryder. I feel like Ryder. He's not going to get those chances. He's not going to get those chances. Ryder's Ryder's slow, and the whole Canelo fight was hard on him. And I don't want people to like just because Canelo looked bad, like Ryder did fight above his level, and Ryder hasn't been looking that great either. Like the, the Jacobs fight was could have gone either way. So, like, and the talent wise, like Berlanga, his average, like both them niggas kind of average, low key. Mm-hmm. So it'd be like the battle of the averages. Uh, like, 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 like Bruno said, 
He could beat Ryder with those MSG judges. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I could see him. I could see him versus Ryder next, or you know, down, you know, you know, you know, pretty soon. You know what I mean? And he'd probably get a, a, a generous gift, you know, generous decision if they were, you know, if he let, you know. Yeah, I do feel like everyone forgot what uh, Triple G did to Murata. Like it, that, that, because because honestly, how bad the the Triple G Canelo third fight was, it's like we don't even want to remember anything else like associated with them niggas. Like we we just now warming up the Canelo because he got the Charlo fight. Like like that whole like 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 Canelo Triple G three is like. Vasquez Marquez four, exactly. Yeah, That's it really cool. served no purpose. All the hype that was with the fight, no, it just just didn't work out. Like that's just I mean, like, the only thing it really did was just pad Canelo's and Triple G's bank accounts. So yeah, just, honestly, like literally, that's that's the most it did. Like it didn't give us a great fight to watch. Oh, it showed the the judges could now score their fight correctly. I think that's the only <laughs> thing. It took them three times, but yeah, they got it right the third time, 115, 113. Like, I think it's five times, five times undefeated. You know, Triple G obviously looked good against Mungia. He didn't look, I mean, uh, not Mungia, um, against um, Murata. But, you know, the Canelo fight, he did look the Old man was fighting for his life. Shit. Uh, 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 a Toyota tried to run you over. What the fuck you going to do? No, I don't, you're, 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 you're going to turn in the fucking Ryu off that goddamn uh, the bonus level in Street Fighter, nigga. You're going to be. Kick all that shit, nigga. <laughs> Mungia oh, will watch Berle- bite Langa the vamp. Yeah, he- dude, Berlanga ain't fight, ain't beating none of these niggas on this list. Like now, I, I will say I- I'd confidently pick Mungia, but Derevi was hurting him a little bit, man. I, I don't. I mean, really, dude, that's fucking Derevi and Chico. Okay, a quality brand, you know. Yeah, he's not getting knockouts, but Berlanga's still a strong puncher. He's not better fist. You know what I'm saying? He is, but I mean, god damn, like, and like, he was fighting so behind, like, you literally had this, look, like, you literally had, this, like, the only time he really hit Quigley is when Quigley was on the ropes, or he just stood in front of him long enough for Berlanga to get comfortable enough to throw that punch. Yeah, when he was confident, when he felt confident, because that's the thing, I think Berlanga lost, I mean, not like he was ever going to necessarily touch gold, but he was more confident during that streak, you know? He was yeah, they more- both lost confidence, like... Imagine getting knocked out by a nigga nobody wants to fight. Mm. And Quigley still trained and took Berlanga serious. But I think if 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 Berlanga if, if Quigley never gets knocked out by Andre, he probably not he probably beats Berlanga. It's like his offense needed that that extra little oomph to, right. to, to just the, the belief, man, is a motherfucker sometimes, yo. Like mm-hmm. but but yeah, man, it's like Berlanga like Berlanga is mid as fuck. He, he's on borrowed time. Um, yeah, he's just waiting. So disgusting, to... but yeah. I can't help it. D- yeah, yeah. did the Mungia fight or um, you know fight rider? I guess, but the Mungia is a cash out fight. Like, I mean, do the, the whole Puerto Mexican Rico. Puerto Rico robbery and cash out. Get you a couple mil cash out. Any other fight? Yeah. Any bigger fight than Mungia? He don't really deserve. I feel like one Pacheco. You know, Pacheco, Diego Pacheco, I'm confident. I like that kid. I think he'd, he'd be able to beat him after another fighter. Probably, yeah. Like I said, Belenga is like Pacheco he's on beats him now. Time. What do you say about Pacheco? What do you say about Pacheco beats, beats, Bung, uh, beats Berlanga Mungia. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Berlanga, yeah. Berlanga, Berlanga. Berlanga. Oh, Mungia, yeah. Maybe a couple more fights. Like. No, I remember, I remember Berlanga. But yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, Berlanga, like, I'm so... This nigga getting a yeah, biased scorecards. He lost to Rose. Yeah, like... This nigga's yeah, Berlin, like, like, yeah. yeah. Fight. Did he win the Angulo fight after he bit him and shit, right? That's fucking wild, man. He looked bad in the Angulo fight. This motherfucker ain't look good in, like, in a minute. No, ever since yeah, like, that, ever, he was on that wilder card against that, that random, um, yeah. you know, Latino fighter. He When he got dropped, when he got dropped that fight, he ain't been the same. Yeah, he, he, that was a close fight. He he, he almost, he almost lost he that fight. Yeah, he, almost, he almost lost that fight. I like, mean, like, it's, it's been he five still fights. won, but it was close. It's been five fights since that that KO streak, I think, about five or six, and he's probably won legitimately two of them. You know what I mean? Like he's, he hasn't really exactly. He's you know legitimately won all. You know, he won <laughs> but I will yeah. say this though. I mean, Eddie for now. I mean, because like I said, I mean, it was overall. I mean, it was a good card for Matchroom. Matchroom had one of those accidental, you know, 
good American yeah. cards or whatever. So it's like you know, kudos to Eddie on that one. But yeah, he might he might have wasted his money trying to sign that guy because, like I said, Berlanga is on borrowed time. Like the wrong type of matchmaking will get this motherfucker knocked out. And Eddie and Eddie is getting his karma now with all these bad signings and matchups and shit. Like yeah, I mean, you see the Hitchens. Hitchens lost her, that fight for the Eliminator and also that the Montana Love fight's gone now. That's fucking that pisses me off. Oh, it's postponed. Yeah. Postponed, yeah. yeah. But they added some. Well, these um, niggas, I don't know if that fight ever happened. Nah, I feel like I'm love, no, love it's was not happening. It's not love, happening. It's love was injured, but I, I thought Love would have pulled out. I, it's, I, it's it's not happening. It's not happening. I heard that it's canceled. It's not it's like it's not happening I, in the future. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think Montana wanted to smoke. <laughs> I don't think so. That and that's the nice. thing, like Montana had a good shot in that fight, like. But if I can't believe in you more than you believe in yourself, so Max, <laughs> you know, gonna, he, but, uh, win, like, eh, he has to think that nigga, like <laughs> this guy with a fucking podcast, exactly. <laughs> 